everyone, it's Yvonne from the Gossy, Gossy Goddess. <laughs> okay, you can tell I've done a few readings already, can't you? Um, this is me in person. I've decided to do the weeklies now on my iPad. If I can get used to the whole feeling of being on camera, that would be fantastic. This is the reading for Capricorn for the 4th to the 10th of August. So Capricorn, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, the awkwardness that I feel on camera is absurd really because I'm certainly not worried about doing readings in person. I'm not worried about people at all. I think it's just the whole camera thing. Um, and I keep looking over there and the camera is right there. So I have to keep remembering not to just have a look at the screen. Otherwise it looks a little bit odd. Okay, where are you up to Capricorn? Queen of Swords coming out here. So the Queen of Swords can represent Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Or like me, you could have this in your chart. Um, the Queen of Swords is a person who is very comfortable speaking out and speaking their truth. So it may have been that you had to speak your truth or you will have to in the next week be honest and truthful about something here. Um, she's very much a person who is direct, but she can also be a little cutting sometimes too. Now behind that we have the Hermit. So... As a result of this truth, it might be something that you need to do to go inside to have a look at how to move forward now. Um, this may be a time to go through transformation, a time to reconsider things that, or events from the past and how you want to move forward. Um, there's a strong emotion here. There's ta the tower coming in behind that. So I want to say to you here, there is a very strong feeling here that you are breaking down these bonds that have hold, held you back, your self-beliefs, what you've been told, what you've built yourself on. Very faulty foundation here and time to rebuild that to get to your Ten of Ducks. <laughs> your Ten of Cups is here. Look at this. Um, you are trying to find and establish this in your life here and yet there are still lots not known to you. So as a result of some sort of truth that's been spoken, you are now on a pathway of taking time out to look deep inside to see how you want to move forward. Because when the tower comes in, there is a very strong sense that things are never going to be the same again. Okay, and here we go. So we're taking a leap of faith here. Um, this is the card of the fool. Uh, jumping off just going for it really just deciding that you're going to follow your path here and we have the ace of swords coming out after that so this is about living in your truth I feel like cheering here um, this is about understanding your direction understanding the way to go understanding how to forge your way forward now and bring in some stability so you've been living on an unstable foundation, I want to say. Judgment card coming in. So we're talking rebirth, rebirthing the phoenix, bringing things back. There's a butterfly on that card and I've never noticed it before. Um, rebirth. Seven of Wands here. So this is about standing your ground. So have some of you spoke up and stood your ground? Because I feel like you might have done. It's changing everything. Maybe you decided no to an offer of love. Maybe somebody offered you something that wasn't what you wanted. And now here, three of wands, looking out towards the future, waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for someone. Ah, oh, we have the king after the queen again. I've seen that so much today. So very much. Queen and King of Swords in the same reading. Rebuilding yourself here. Putting the effort and energy into rebuilding yourself. And you're now here. <laughs> so looking at the world very differently here with this hanged man. Okay, so Queen here, King here. Same reading. Uh, truth has either been spoken or will be spoken this week that may put you on a little bit of a road to rebuilding yourself here. You're rebuilding for something wonderful here. So can I say to you that you are manifesting something from your past that you could have great desire for? 
there's been there uh, the universe wants you to take a leap of faith here there's a change in this tower that requires you to rebirth yourself to bring something back and I feel like this is you, a different version of yourself, one that is built with clarity and truth here and brings you more stability. I look here and I think there was some sort of offer made here that you have either defended yourself against um, or you've stood your ground on. You've stood your ground on something here and it's bringing in a new balance for you. You're able to rebuild yourself from this. I love it. So the hanged man says that you're now going inside to have a look at things from a very different perspective. Okay, so there's a feeling here that this was meant to happen. Um, there is a reason this has happened the way it has. I feel that you were going through life a certain way and the universe is saying it wasn't the way to go. There's a definite feeling here that you have had to consider that the way you were doing things was not the right way. Now you have clarity. Now you have this sense of I was doing it wrong and now I need to get it right. And because of that, you are now traveling in a new direction. You're taking a leap of faith and you're rebirthing yourself from this. So there's no longer needing to. It's almost like you've defended yourself against love in the past. I don't know what that means for some of you, but this is now a chance to rebuild yourself because you're coming up here as something much more powerful, much more in tune with the universe. This sword here is just so strong. It's like you really have a clear sense of purpose and direction. With the hanged man coming out here, that says to me now that you're looking at things differently. Your world looks different to you. So even though you may have to go through a period of rebirth, um, it's like you come out looking at the world in a very different way. And with that tower there, well, I guess you have to, don't you? Because whatever this was has pretty much knocked you off your feet and given you an opportunity now to say, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not doing it this way anymore. It's happened to me too many times. And now I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to bring in what I want. And that's why you're rebirthing yourself. You're, you're bringing yourself in the way you should. Okay, so we do have the card of the rattle coming out here. So while I skim through my book and go through the alphabet. <laughs> sorry, I, I amuse myself. What can I say? The rattle. The rattle comes to invite you to work with the tools of spirit, but be careful, they are very sharp and can hurt you and others if they are not used mindfully. Set your old tools aside and take up the drawing instruments of spirit. You are consciously stepping into partnership with the divine. This is the time for courageous deeds. Do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression. You are co-creating now with the universe. You weren't doing that before. You were trying, but you were going around it all the wrong way with the tools you were using. So the universe is saying you are now in tune with us. Now we can bring in what you manifest because you know that you're in tune with what you want now. So there's your ten of cups. Have a great day. <laughs>